Hi, my name is Jason, and this video is going to be about how I designed and installed a dual pickup system in this semi-acoustic double bass. After this introduction, you're going to see me build a custom magnetic pickup that fits the bass, then I'll install that onto the instrument in combination with some piezo sensors. I'll show you the wiring diagram that I used for the stereo output jack, and finally a tone test of the whole thing at the end. But first, a little motivation. When I started building this instrument, this dual pickup system was always the plan for two specific reasons. One is that double basses are feedback prone, so a magnetic pickup is something you can use in a situation where you're having feedback problems. Two, the whole point of an acoustic instrument is to get the resonant tones that come off the body, and you need a piezo to capture that. So having both pickups on the instrument would allow me to blend them to taste based on the situation I'm in. In my design, the two pickups output on separate channels of a stereo jack. Both the pickups will be passive, no batteries on the instrument itself. So any signal processing you want to do to blend or EQ them will be done using pedals or other outboard processing. The main reason I want to do the signal processing outside the instrument is it's flexible and upgradable over time. Also, I can use the same off-instrument gear for multiple instruments with similar passive pickups. My banjo actually already has a very similar pickup system installed. For the build section, I'm going to soundtrack it with some of my original music. This is the reason I make these instruments. I play them live and record them. And the scope of this YouTube channel is whatever I'm doing to make my original music, which includes a lot of instrument building these days. But sometimes music production and audio engineering topics. So please subscribe to the channel for the story of how I make the music and please check out the music itself, links below, anywhere you listen. Now on with the build. So these individual cylinders I ordered from a local manufacturer around Toronto called MJS Custom Pickups and I'll link to them below. So the idea is that they're individual pole pieces that you can height adjust because of the very small radius of a double bass fingerboard. And also they are wired as a humbucker. My role here is the carpenter. So I'll be taking over the job after these things arrive in the mail. Get out of bed early Supposed to be in a hurry But you're wasting time Standing in a bag of life Playing for the job Staying right where you are the job patience for the gold star people say you can do anything just to make you be obey your commands like a sin it's a lot to go bold and made And you don't really like making plans Playing for the draw Staying right where you are Playing for the draw Patience for the gold star Been messing around 
time to lock this one down It's the best thing that you've ever had Playing for the draw Staying right where you are Playing for the draw Make some money, I don't care if it's level and it's square. Just check your tail pipe particles, make sure you know what is burning in there. Playing for the job, staying right where you are. Playing for the job, patience for the gold star. Playing for the job, staying right where you are. Playing for the job, patience for a gold star. Hello again, this is the wiring diagram that I used to set up these two pickups flowing to a stereo jack. It's similar to how you would wire pickups to a mono jack with a pickup selector, except there's an extra switch to make it all a mono system if you happen to put a mono cable into the stereo jack. Nothing bad happens when you put a mono cable into a stereo jack. It will just ground out one of the channels and you'll get the other channel. It does not combine them. So in the case where you might need to plug in with a mono cable, one switch allows you to switch to mono mode, and then the other switch is a three position pickup selector, just like you would have on a two pickup guitar. If you wanted the plug to operate as a stereo jack all the time, you wouldn't need any switches at all. Now, I don't presume people want more details about how all this wiring works, but I'll link a separate video with a longer explanation for those that do. So we're ready for the tone test now. I'll just say thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and check out the original music linked below.